Feeling jealous is a quite natural phenomenon, as we all are aware of this thing. We also know the reason somewhere inside our mind, but lets us clearly understand the psychological and real reason behind this feeling. Evolutionary psychologists have spent years researching jealousy. In her review of the literature Harris writes that evolutionary psychologists suggest that jealousy might have given a fitness advantage for men and women. More specifically, in 1995 Buss concluded that a specific set of brain circuits determines a jealous reaction, and found that men were more jealous about physical infidelity while women were more jealous about emotional infidelity. I appreciate researchers' efforts to uncover gender differences in jealousy because gender differences are often at work. Take a look at these factors and see if you've had experience with someone who presents any of these types. Insecurity Hands down, insecurity is the most common source of jealousy. People often throw around the term inferiority complex, which is not a clinical term, but refers to an underlying impoverished ego or low self-esteem a jealous man who feels insecure in his romantic relationships, for example, does not feel confident that he is good and valuable enough to keep another person interested in him over time. It's important to note that insecurity is usually not absolute in men and women. In other words, a woman may be bright and highly effective at work as a high-powered lawyer, though her psychopathology, getting jealous, comes out in her romantic relationships. Overall, is she an insecure woman? No, but she has the capacity to become deeply jealous in her romantic relationship. Obsessive thinking a recent female client of mine in her late 20s, whom I'll call Marianne, finds herself feeling jealous in almost every relationship she has. Clinically, she also meets several criteria for obsessive-compulsive disorder though she doesn't meet the criteria for the full diagnosis. Marianne's brain tends to work on perpetual overtime, always generating new anxieties and worries. Because this is her general cognitive, thinking, style. Her tendency to overthink and obsess about things inevitably seeps into every one of her romantic relationships. For obsessive types, the hardest thing in the world to manage is uncertainty, aka the unknown. While most people can handle a fair amount of uncertainty, when Marianne's boyfriend comes home late, she can't tolerate the unknown, why he's late, what he's been doing. When she feels uncertain about where her boyfriend is, her mind fills in the blanks and generates answers, many of which are negative. Very often, she comes up with facts created out of thin air about her boyfriend's probable infidelity and then feels extremely anxious and jealous. If she didn't have an obsessive cognitive style, she would be a lot less jealous. For people who may have insecurity or obsessive thinking problems, I recommend identifying and treating yourself taking small gradual steps of learning to trust your partner by stopping yourself from checking in on them constantly. For example, beginning with texting them less frequently, or learning to stop pointing out the flaws in their partner and find the good. Life becomes more meaningful the moment you realize the simple fact that you will never have the same moment twice. <laughs>